And there is growing speculation that the corporal's death may be exposing severe infighting within the military. A senior military analyst said that the way the military has handed down punishments for the incident reveals the fierce battle raging for the position of chief of the general staff. Based on typical military practice, disciplinary action should have begun at the brigade level and reached as high as the 6th Army Corps commander. But punishment for the incident went even higher, as high up as Army Commander General Lee Xiang Zhou. Some suggest that Lee was punished because of infighting in the battle for the Chief of General Staff job. That's because Yen Ming's term comes to an end in November. And unless the legislature amended the law to allow him to stay on, Lee was well positioned to take his place. Next in line after Lee would be Yang Tianxiao, a military advisor to the presidential office, and Navy Commander Dong Xiaolong. If a general has a record of being punished, that is a major, major blow. It may be that the fight for the chief of general staff post could have something to do with the case's development. There are some details that offer clues to this, especially with President Ma talking about promotion questions. For many, the death of the Army Corporal has focused attention on human rights within Taiwan's armed forces. But some within the military may also be using the incident to promote their own interests or get even with enemies.